We move on now to the Lagos Multi-Door Courthouse, established in 2002. The LMDC turns 15 this month of June, and the Governing Council taught it wise to celebrate this achievement and also celebrate Lagos State at 50. They also used the opportunity to share some success stories from the courthouse, the present challenges and trends in alternative dispute resolution. Here's the report. The chairman of the Governing Council of the Lagos Multi-Door Courthouse, LMDC, Justice Adishui Olatero Lagbegi, led other ADR judges and members of the Governing Council of the Courthouse to celebrate the giant strides of Lagos at 50 and the LMDC at 15. In attendance here are also members of the press and some parties who have enjoyed and who continue to enjoy the services of the courthouse. Justice Olatero Lagbegi takes his guests down memory lane by sharing the concepts of the LMDC and its core objectives. Lagos State has been unrivaled in blazing the trail of excellence in every field of human endeavor and continues to be a model for other states of the Federation of Nigeria. This enviable position of the state is epitomized by the establishment of the Lagos Multidor Courthouse, which is the first court-connected alternative dispute resolution center in Africa. With the adoption of the concept by the Lagos State Judiciary in June 2002, the Honorable Chief Judge of the state at the time issued a practice direction for ADR and the center was opened for business at the premises of the High Court of Lagos. Five years later, the legislative and executive arms of government lent support to the program by the promulgation of the enactment, really, of the Lagos Multidoc Courthouse Law 2007, as amended in 2015, and also with the provision of a subvention for LMDC activities by Lagos State Government. The Multidoc Courthouse concept is a revolutionary justice reform initiative that transforms the mono-litigation door of the courthouse into a multi-door program in which disputants have an array of dispute resolution options to explore. The enormous benefits of the concept are that it enhances access to justice within the court system and provides consumers of justice with cost-effective, user-friendly, speedy, party-driven, and satisfactory alternatives to litigation. The decongestion of the courts by the use of ADR has been the key focal thrust of the Lagos Montedore Courthouse in the last three years. The Lagos Settlement Week introduced in 2009 is an important calendar of the LMDC. It's scheduled to run between Monday the 5th to Friday the 9th of June. The Governing Council also uses this opportunity of the celebration to invite parties to take advantage of the week and have their disputes resolved. In 2010, the Lagos Multi-Door Courthouse introduced the Commercial Intervention Strategy Program to encourage commerce and industry to utilize ADR for resolving its disputes. Some parties who have taken advantage of this program freely share their experiences. Between 2012 and um, 2017, we've been able to um, conclude over uh, or close to 100 cases using this um, medium. And the benefits and advantages uh, in using this is, um, they are quite many. You see that you have a win-win solution where you mediate. Um, most times, parties um, walk away, retaining um, the relationship, which is quite distinct from the um, um, continuing in court, where uh, you see that you don't have an end to the um, dispute when, when you have um, a favorable judgment in your, in your favor. 
One of the things that I uh, learned, um, I had experience as a banker, 22 years, but that didn't even give me the opportunity to practice some of the things that I learned as a banker. But being a mediator at the LMBC has given me that space to do, that, uh, to do exactly that. And I've been able to combine both my knowledge of banking, my knowledge of mediation, to be able to add value to the LMBC. And I thank God for, I don't want to sound like a pastor now, I thank God for the LMBC for giving me that opportunity to do so. But one thing I like to do is appeal to all my colleagues who are in practice at the moment that it does not cut down your earnings. It adds to it. Because when you become a transactional lawyer, when you have advocacy, I mean, when you have aviation advocacy skills, it helps you as a transactional lawyer to earn more fees, multiple channels of income, income streams that are put to you as a private, I mean, as a private uh, legal practitioner. Despite these success stories, Justice Olatere Olagbegi notes that there's still a slow acceptance and buy-in of major stakeholders. The LMDC wants the Committee on Judicial Reform, set up by the Chief Justice of Nigeria, to accord some recognition to ADR with a view to modernizing the Nigerian judiciary and positioning it to be more responsive to the challenges of the 21st century. We request the said committee to give recognition to the vast potentials of ADR in the settlement of disputes by recommending the setting up of court-connected ADR centers that's multi-door courthouses throughout the country where none at present exists and making reference by judges in these states to those centers mandatory in all ADR amenable cases. Furthermore, the National Judicial Council, NJC, is respectfully urged to give recognition to lawyers who have participated in ADR as mediation counsel by making appropriate amendments to the requirement for the conferment of the rank of senior advocate of Nigeria. Similarly, the NJC is also respectfully urged to give recognition to consent judgments obtained through ADR mechanisms and make appropriate amendments to the regulations guiding the quarterly returns of judges in the performance evaluation exercise. And lastly, and finally, all courts and all lawyers and indeed the Nigerian Bar Association must unite in progressively advancing the cause of ETL in the resolution of disputes in Nigeria. That is the trend in the world of today and we proceed that indeed ADR is the way to go.